How's it going everyone? Parth with Atlanta JDM here to show off another one of our imports and today I'm sitting in a 1990 Toyota Serra SLSS. That's the trim level. It's the super live surround sound. They're very hard to find in that trim level and it is a factory five-speed manual. Another very hard feature to find in Toyota Serras. They already were a limited production so finding them in good condition is getting very difficult getting an slss i don't want to be the bearer of bad news but this could possibly be the last slss i ever get in stock because of just how hard they are to find this one was kind of neglected by the owner in japan when we did source it out so we had to do a little bit of work it does need one or two things um, nothing major one of the biggest things is probably the heat the heat does not work Toyota Serras are essentially Toyota Paseos with butterfly doors. So the little bit of research that I did, um, the Toyota Paseo heating element matches up perfectly with this car. So we're gonna give that a go. And we've got some time to uh, get the heat working now because again, it is about to be spring. So as long as AC works, we are good to go. But I mean, this is a super low mileage Toyota Serra. It's a five speed, like I said, it drives great. It's very, very, not super overly tight, but it's very, it is tight. Like it feels really good um, shifting. Usually these are really loose and wobbly and it doesn't shift um, as precise as it is right now, but this thing is freaking perfect. There's my neighbor. Um, what else about the car? I mean, drivability, like I said, it's it's just like driving a, it's like driving the Starlet, honestly. Um, just very smooth, very nice little grocery getter. You get the uh, butterfly door clout everywhere you go. Everyone's looking at you. Uh, me personally, like uh, I, because I know what the car is, and I know that this was the like factory color for the SLSS, especially. Some people, like everyone, that's the first thing they say. They're like, that color is god awful. And I'm like, well, hey, you know what? It's, it's, it's not your monkey, not your circus type of thing, you know? Like, that's what Toyota came out with back in the day. And that's kind of what this car is offered as. So, but I mean, you know, just going to do some quick driving again. I think I said this before, but I wasn't able to do anything in Japan because, uh, you know, my Mr. Horimoto san was working on it. So uh, we had to painfully wait until it got here to the States. And I mean, it, it just cranked up like no issues whatsoever. Uh, other thing that was bad with it, oh, just messed up my downshift right there, was the uh, driver's side strut. I mean, one day I just opened, like right when it got here, I opened the door, I was about to go clean it off and the strut broke off. So I was like, all right, well that kind of sucks. That's not a good sign. Um, they were replaced by my guys in Japan. I'm not sure what happened. Um, I do have the broken part, but I was able to get two struts on Amazon for like a hundred bucks and finding them on Amazon was kind of weird. I was kind of su like, it was, it was sus for a second because they were coming from China, but they work. Um, if you've ever tried to open this door without the strut, it is like doing arms all day. And uh, now since it's so fresh and I just installed it, it's still got that tension. So even closing it sometimes, Ethan, you gotta like, you're gonna be doing a little bit of arms right there, dude, getting your arm workout in. And then, like I said, there were a few things that were wrong with it. Those are the two things I fixed the strut, the heating core we're gonna send up to Ethan. And the other big thing is this uh, ashtray. It, it won't, it won't shut. And I'll show you in the walk around, but I mean, honestly, if that's really the biggest problem you've got on the car, uh, you ain't really got too much to worry about. All right, we'll start by doing a quick little lap. There's definitely some evidence of uh, this car being painted or repainted in Japan, especially in the rear. I always tell people Japanese are phenomenal mechanics. Their paint is not the greatest. That's why we always like to try to get that done over here if possible. But obviously the goal is to try to find stuff without paint in Japan or without paint correction. But in Japan they do single stage paint and 
the car is just baking the sun, so they are prone to fading. This one again, like I said, I already went over the couple of the things that were wrong with it. The uh, driver's side strut, which we repaired, or I repaired, pretty easy. The heat, which we're gonna get a Paseo heating core. That should fit in and keep Ethan nice and warm. The ashtray doesn't close for some reason. Pretty sure it's just something minor, or maybe you can 3D print the part. And just the paint, again, there are some boo-boos on the car, very, very minimal. Some paint chipping on the front bumper. This little plastic piece is coming off. Even for the condition though, you know, you know the front bumper's kind of faded, but just finding the car itself is the uh, most challenging part. Finding them in this condition again, that's uh, this is the end result to all the custom orders, or that's what we aim for, obviously. Some scraping right here, and it's still a little wet from just cleaning it. I mean, that's pretty much it. Fading right here, scratches. This will probably come out. This looks like some. Shipping. Very minor stuff though. Again, I'm just being really nitpicky about it. I'm trying to show Ethan exactly what he signed up for. And like I said, you know, I was in Japan with this car again. I just can't remember what I said in the driving portion. I was in Japan though. We couldn't really test this one out when we got it. They went and tested it. When it came back, they uh, immediately had to put it back on a lift. It's had a good bit of work done to it and again Japanese are very thorough with everything which is a good thing I mean my chief mechanic had the carpets pulled up he was making sure all the wiring was good he got the sound system to work again so all in all I think uh, Ethan's gonna be very pleased with this car and this is the big money point right here obviously the butterfly doors one doesn't oh it does have the sunshades wow that's crazy these are stupid rare too the sunshades for the window it's really good in the summer too because you will straight up bake in this car um it is kind of overwhelming before we look at the inside we'll show you the glass top trunk lifts up nicely as well again sarah super live sound system so i said yes yeah, it's super live i think i think that's what i said um again this is the creme de la creme this is the sarah that everybody wants two back seats very similar to the rx7 pointless you're not going to use them unless you've got little people uh trunk space underneath this little lift gate thing we'll put that sh uh, spare strut for uh ethan if he ever needs it Again, I think this is the disc changer, if I'm not mistaken, or is this the woofer, subwoofer? I haven't actually tried the stereo yet. I'm getting to it, but I'll show you guys everything. Open. Might have to get a picture of that too. Post it for the gram. And I, I don't know if I said it in the uh, driving portion, but like I said, this this could very well be the last SLSS Sarah I get in or the last manual Sarah I get in because they do not pop up at all. Very, very far and few between, especially when they've got this and they've got 34,954 kilometer, 55 kilometers. Again, that's 22,000 miles. Like for this engine, speaking of engine, where is it? For this engine, this is like brand new. I mean, it's a solid engine, Toyota. If I can get it open, where art thou? There it is. Okay. 
and this is the engine bay again like i said it, this thing has a long list of stuff that's been done to it that i'm going to send ethan but get a nice little car to put her around in a little grocery getter just like the starlet again it drives pretty much exactly like the starlet this has the 5e fhe I believe it's a 1.6 liter, 1.5 liter, one of those two. A little dusty, but it's JDM dust, so. And we'll turn her on for old Ethan, even though he's gonna be driving it in the next couple of days. And that ticking noise, you can watch any Toyota video I have. They all do that little tick, tick, tick. dusty but a little dirty right here too obviously but it's dry but again this is just the end result of our custom order process if you're interested in getting something specific that we don't have in inventory this is the best way to do it and again with a little bit of your patience we can get exactly what you're looking for so you can find all that information on our website the link below and Ethan I'm excited for you, man. You should be excited. We're almost at the finish line. Hope you guys enjoyed it, and we'll see you all on the next one.